When it comes to bad habits, they're very diverse. They're very different from each other. They range from biting your nails to sleeping in late to eating too much fast food. And they each have specific causes that come with each one of them. When it comes to biting your nails, it might be that you're trying to avoid boredom. It's an escape from boredom. When it comes to sleeping in late, you might be trying to delay a stressful day ahead. At the same time, each bad habit has a specific pattern in common. And Charles Duhigg, the author of The Power of Habit, outlined a simple cue, routine, reward that every habit goes through. It's a pattern that's common to every habit. And in the cue, the cue is what happens before the habit. So when it comes to biting your nails, it's probably the feeling of boredom. When it comes to a text message, it's a text you receive from a friend. So that sound that you hear in your pocket is the actual cue. Or it's a thought of something that you can send to a friend. Now when it comes to the routine, that's the actual habit itself. So it's biting your nails or it's sending a text message. It's the thing that actually becomes repetitive over time. The thing that you can see on the outside. When it comes to the reward, it's the thing that you, it's the reward that you get, the feeling that you get from doing, performing the habit. So when it comes to biting your nails, it's the escape from boredom. It's the relief that you get. When it comes to sending a text message, it's the uh, social high that you get from communicating with a friend. Now, there are two types of damage that can come from every bad habit. And not every bad habit has both of these types of damage. The first is from the habit itself. And that might be weight gain if you eat too much fast food. Or it might be uh, ugly look of your fingertips if you bite your nails. Now, you might not, there might not be a serious damage done to your life from some habits. Text messaging doesn't do serious outward damage if you text too much. But the second type of damage is the repetitive nature of the habit. It's caused by the repetitive nature of the habit. And it's the loss of time. It's a loss of opportunity. It's the distraction that comes and it's the loss of self-control over time. So the more you perform a bad habit, the more compulsive, compulsive it becomes, the less self-control you have, the less, self, the less control you feel over your life and ultimately that results in uh, ultimately it results in a loss of happiness which I'll explain later on so how do you prevent this from happening one of the most important ways to getting rid of any habit is to either replace the reward with the reward of another healthier habit so you take away the reward that that bad habit habit gives you or you replace that habit with another good habit that gives you the same reward and eventually the habit is weakened and will fade away. But we'll talk more about that in a later section. Now an example of how this happened in my life, how my fast food habit developed originally, was that I moved out to the west coast to do rock climbing and mountain biking. And I would do that all day and come home exhausted and tired at night. And I wouldn't have any energy to have any self-control. So... When I got home at night, I felt like I didn't want to cook. I felt like maybe I deserved to go and uh, just buy food somewhere else. And there were a lot of fast food joints near my house. So I would just bring something home and eat it. And it would be easy. And I really liked the taste of most fast food. So what happens with fast food is that it's overstimulating. It's loaded with fats and sugars. And over time, you stop being able to taste normal food as you should. So when you eat fast food, normal food tastes worse. I don't know if you've noticed this yourself, but after paying attention to what's actually what actually happens to you when you eat a lot of fast food, I've noticed that that happens to me. I can't taste re regular food, food that's good for me, food with maybe a lot of fiber, as well as I should, and it's not rewarding to me anymore. So all that I think of when I think of food is, is fast food. So the lesson here is that all bad habits develop as a result of stress, discomfort, tiredness, or boredom. And when you're in one of those states, you should watch for bad habits developing. But we'll talk more about how this happens in the future and what you can do to prevent it in a later lecture. For now, I hope this lecture was helpful to you, and I'll talk to you in the next one.